Mr. Cannon. Mr. Cannon, Cannon. you're offering us a sneak preview of your speech. Wait, 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 it's not a speech, it's just a... Wait, no, no sneak preview. All right, you'll hear everything soon enough. Sir, are you sure you can't just... Uh, thank you. Look, whatever this is, we've been friends for a long time. Good friends. I want you to know I'm behind you. 100%. That'll never change, Hank. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, I sure hope you still feel that way after this press conference is over. I mean, God knows Rachel didn't stick around. She was too upset. Still no word on Sheila? Still no word on Sheila. So who is this visitor? Probably some heavy Buchanan sent to lean on me. Uh, now, why would the commission want to do that? Why, to make my life miserable. Why else? If this lady tries to strong arm you, I'd be real surprised. She doesn't look the type. Clint, I'd really like to go upstairs and be with my family right now. Well, Sloan is in a bad way. I'm sure you'd like to be upstairs with everybody. Uh, well, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, I, uh, I wanted to let you know, David, that Vicki means a great deal to me. In fact, she means the world to me. Well, I, I gathered that. I made the general a promise. I gave him my word that I would look out for Vicki, make sure that nothing or no one ever harms her. Well, good. None of us want to see I that. wanted you to know that, David. Me? Yes, you. I wanted you to know that I'm going to do my damnedest to live up to my word to the general, and I will be watching out for Vicky. Almighty God, look on this your servant lying in great weakness and comfort him with the promise of life everlasting given in the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Dad, please, don't try to talk. <sighs> what do I need to do? I need to say goodbye. I need to say goodbye. the same side here good yeah good because just like you I'm going to be watching out for Vicki I want the best for my sister and there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her I'm glad to hear that David thank you now if you'll excuse me I'd like to go be with my family this is a rough time for everyone of course Sometimes when people die, you don't get the chance to say goodbye. And you think, if only I would have talked to him or told him how I felt and say goodbye, things might be easier, a little more resolved. Yeah, I know. But you know what? It's not better. Things aren't any more resolved. I, I know Sloan is still going to die, and my saying goodbye doesn't change that. Well, maybe not for you, Tina, but I think it does for Sloan. You know? I think it resolves things for him. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tina, if Vicky needs anything else, would you uh, ask her to let me know? Yes, I will. And if she needs to get a hold of me, 
I'll be at the banner. I'll tell her. <clears throat> David. Why did Sloan want to see Clint before? I have no idea. Take your father's place. We know that Sloan. I'm glad, though, that I got to be your stepfather for a little while. You three make any father proud. Be good to each other, be kind. Especially to Vicky, because she's going to need you. Your support. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your father's news must have been such a shock. He lied. All these years, he's lied. No. No, he didn't come forward with the knowledge. Sweetie, you got to take a step back here, and I want you to think about what it was like for him back then, all right? To think about it, the, the, the war, the... The politics, he was so young and he was so scared. Well, it doesn't make sense. Dad involved with a murder and a cover-up. Whoa, 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 time out. Your father was not part of a murder. He covered it up, didn't he? Come on, any first-year law student knows that that is okay, a crime. Okay, all right, little miss, first-year law student. Now, you listen to me. The police may question you about a crime, and unless the police question you about a crime, it is not a criminal act to keep information to yourself. Wait, you want to deal with technicality? No, I'm dealing with the law, Rachel. The law. Not rumors, not prejudices, not innuendos, not interpretations. The law. Because a man's life is at stake here, and this man is not a stranger. This man is your father. I know. And that's what makes it so unbelievable. I... Mom, I... You and Dad... I mean, when I were, was growing up, you, you two were so, you know, I, when I didn't know what to do, I would, I would think of you, and I would ask myself, what would they do? Sweetheart, he thought he was doing the right thing, and then he was so scared, too scared to come forward. 
We're only human, Ricky. Mom, you stood for everything that was strong and good. I mean, do you remember how he used to say, never lie? Because one lie leads to another lie. And someone will get hurt. Yes. I don't know if I can get past this. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Ben. Good to see you back on your feet again. Uh, sort of. You OK? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, good to be standing up again. So uh, what's the deal? Hank's got the press here and everything. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. I'm Hank Gannon, Lantano County District Attorney. I've always been very proud of my job, District Attorney. So I'm very sad to be standing here today. But in the interest of full disclosure, I, I owe it to the people who elected me into this office to make public the fact that I was in 1972 at Midwestern University in Chicago party to a criminal act. You should be long gone. Don't worry, I'm going. But before I walk away from the best place and the best friends I've ever known, I want to get something straight with you. Like what? First of all, I had nothing to do with your landing here. You did that all by yourself. I swear, I never said a word to Hank about what you've been doing to me. And I've never... And I've never said anything or told anyone about what I know you did to Ben. You're a very suspicious lady, Sheila. I mean, what makes you think I had anything to do with your brother having an accident on icy roads? You're smart. You're clever. You're not afraid of anything. You're good, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, sing my praises. That's I why I hate you so much. I hate you and everything that you've done. And I'll never forget just how far you were willing to go to protect your man. <laughs> it was very touching, really. But now I've got people to see and things to do, so if you don't mind... That's fine, I'm going. But don't you ever forget how much I love Hank. With all my heart. Yeah, I could tell. Because he's an honorable man. That's why I just... I can't see it. I know you showed me the surveillance tape of that break-in. I saw it with my own eyes. But I cannot believe that Hank would have just stood there, just stood there and watched a man being murdered. Mm, seeing is believing, baby. Come on, RJ, just tell me the truth. The game's over, you won. Hank wasn't really there when that guy was killed, was he? Fool. What's a, a fool? My kid's a fool? What does that mean? Fool. Back! What's, what? I what? thought you were over at the spa. Surprise. Well, honey, aren't the contractors supposed to be coming about the pool? Uh, what are you doing sneaking off here in the middle of the afternoon consulting tarot cards? That's uh, my job. I, 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 I needed to know. I'm sorry. You needed to know what exactly? You know, about our baby. What's there to know? It's a baby. And it's ours. What's there to know? We don't know whether it's a boy or a girl, whether it's going to be tall or short or funny or serious or a wildcat or a free spirit. Luna, these are important questions. We already know everything that's important. It's, it's going to be beautiful, and it's going to be loving, and it's going to be happy, because it's born of our love. That's all that matters. You were right. I know. 
You know, you you Oh you are so right. You know I what? Know, you I are know. you are the goddess of right. Oh, I you know. are you are the ruler of of rightness. Mm. Oh. The empress of empirical data. Mm. And I love you so oh. much. Mm. Thank you. Mm. 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 Whoa. Ooh. That's it. That was kind of quick. I'm, I'm, I like the sort of praise that builds up into something else. Well, I mean, won't, won't it hurt the baby? Or... Why, for us to make love? Huh. Are you kidding? That'll just bring blessings on our baby. You're making this up. I know. I'll do anything to get you into bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to say that I have a wish for you. That you grow up to be a man of character. Strong of heart, as did my sons. Your daddy and Uncle William. Sloan, I love you. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about your husband? <laughs> Let him be jealous. <laughs> I have grown to love you so much. I love you, too. And don't cry for me. I have such peace of mind seeing the love you two have for each other. Great peace of mind. Well, we will honor the Carpenter family name. Nothing will ever come between us. Your father was younger than you are now when he made the choices that he did. Sure, he covered up the truth. But he did it because he felt that the truth of what really happened would probably get distorted. And he was right, wasn't he? He should have known that it would come out one day. Oh, sweetheart, he was so young. And his future was so important. And not just to him. To his whole community. He was a black man fighting for radical causes and working within the white establishment world to achieve these goals. He was a symbol to everyone that it was possible to achieve goals this way. He was so brave then. And he's even braver now. Because a lesser man than your father would never be able to do what Hank is doing right this very minute. You're right. It does take courage. He's opening himself up like this. Yes. And he 
he needs help. He needs all the help he can get from the people he loves. And he really needs you, Ricky. Much later, I'd learned long after I left the president's office that a, a guard had been shot to death by one of the warriors. Now, I was not in the room, and I had no knowledge of the shooting, but that does not absolve me of guilt. I was guilty of breaking and entering. And it was wrong not to report to the police what I had learned later about the shooting, a failure that I will regret to the day I draw my last breath. So for now, I'm fully aware that the state bar may choose to take disciplinary actions against me. Therefore, effective immediately, I'm resigning my position as district attorney. Do you know who shot the guard? Why come forward now? What are you speaking about? I can't answer any questions any, at this time. <laughs> Medal of Honor. Most cherished of all I have. It's yours now. For the courage to stand by me and to love me and to teach me how to love. It takes no courage to love you. It's as easy as breathing. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I mustn't do this. No. <laughs> oh, darling. I said I was going to... I was going to give you everything all my days. There should have been more. There should have been more, yes. More. In the morning when you awake, you just say to yourself, You. I promise you that you will never leave me. Oh. Darling, I, I want you to hold on to this just a little bit longer. You need it now. You need the courage. Secret. He's doing great in there, especially. Excuse me! He's doing great, especially after Rachel showed up, but. Come on, come on. Listen, I don't see what can save him, though, from these tabloids or from the authorities in Illinois unless he can offer solid proof that he is not an accessory to murder. We're hoping to prove exactly that. Who are you looking for? I did everything that you asked me to do. I'm just looking for one small consolation. Please, was Hank there or not? 
Why is this so important? My God, OJ, can't you just give me this one little thing to walk away with? Please. Tell me Hank wasn't there when that guard was killed. I'll, I'll walk away. If you tell me, that, I'll just walk away. I'll still walk away and I'll get out of his life forever. Did you doctor that security tape? Look, I'll tell you what, Sheila. You want to know the truth? Stop, oh, Well, well, hey, look, look, I'm cool, I'm cool. We're all cool. Now we all know the score. Somebody's going on a journey. To be a little more specific. Somebody we know. Somebody very powerful. And what? And... Hmm. Looks like it might be their last journey. I'll read to you, shall I? <sighs> Darling, do you remember this? It's the first present you ever gave me. Oh. And now, good morrow to our waking souls which watch not one another out of fear. For love, all love of other sights controls and makes one little room and everywhere. <sighs> Let sea discoverers to new worlds have gone. Let maps to other worlds on worlds have shown. Let us possess one world. Each hath one and is one. My face in thine eye, thine in mine appears. And true, plain hearts do in the faces rest. Where can we find two better hemispheres without sharp north, without declining west? Whatever dies was not mixed equally. Now take your hardware and get out. You okay, miss? Yes, thank you. Tim, you gotta hear this. The DA's resigning. 
I love my family more than anything in this world. My daughter, my fiance, my extended family of friends and colleagues. They are all so much more precious to me than my career or even my freedom. And I hope, I hope they can at least understand and eventually forgive me. Tim, you believe that? What the hell is he doing? I figured you'd have to ask that question. He's being a man. Anyway. The best in the business. <laughs> Listen, Bo, I'm sorry I didn't come clean with you sooner, but I didn't want to put you in a compromising position. I, don't, I understand. You don't have to apologize to me, Hank. I'm on your side all the way. Thanks, Bo. <sighs> Richard, you don't know how much it meant to me uh, to see you walk in there after I... I do know. Because someone made me see how important it was. So, old timer, how you doing? I'm gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'll be fine too. I've got my daughter right here next to me. That's right. And that is where I'm gonna stay, right by your side. What will this mean for your future? What made you Have come you forward to now? The now? Is, this the end of, is this the end of your career in politics? Anything you can say it? to all the people who are in the Please. please. I think, I think Sloan was probably the most stubborn patient I've ever had, <laughs> including Asa Buchanan. <clears throat> Taught me to ride a bicycle. I remember the day he, he let go of the handlebars. He told me to steer. I was fine, you know, until I turned around. I saw he'd let go of the seat, too. As soon as I knew that he wasn't there, Over. He's gone. Hank, I can't believe you did this. Yeah, well, I had to. Honey, I tried so hard to help you to prevent this from happening. I mean, I was working on proof for you when I heard the press conference. I am so sorry. Oh, baby, it's okay. I love you, Shirley. Baby, I love you more than my career, more than my reputation. And I'll never forget what you were willing to do to protect me. Can I do it again? Don't. <laughs> Now listen, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen now. It could be pretty rocky. Well, it's a good thing you're going to have me with you. Yeah, it's a good thing. Well, at least now we won't, uh, RJ won't have any power over us anymore. Your brother's a stand-up guy. Owned up to his mistakes and is willing to take whatever comes. That takes guts. Yeah, well, we'll see what kind of guts Hank's got when push comes to shove. You tell Bob you can, and I want to see him. You're kidding. Nah, not even a little bit. I got something for the commissioner. 
tell him I want to see him. There's something else I need you to do for me. Shoot. Turn the files inside out, burn a hole in the databases if you have to. What am I looking for? Anything you can find on a man named Vickers. David Vickers. Vicky, darling, is there something I can do for you? Oh, no. You and Nigel have been wonderful, thank you. Well, can't I get you something? No. Actually, I wouldn't mind just uh, being alone for a few minutes, would you? I'll take care thank of everything. Madam, excuse the interruption. It's all right, Nigel. Did you wish to notify the banner? Yes, I suppose so. Allow me to do it for you. Thank you very much. Very good, Mrs. Buchanan. Carpenter. I'm sorry. Carpenter. I'm Mrs. Carpenter. Yes, of course. Mrs. Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> 